So to finish things up, we're going to need to actually get those grades into iPass, which is where they live once you're done actually calculating them. So I've created an assignment in iPass that I'm just going to open up. It's called Example Assignment. And this is the page that we usually see when we are entering grades into iPass. So what I'm going to do is what I usually do when I enter my grades. I'm going to make this take up about half of the screen. And then I'm going to jump on over to Numbers. I'll make that a little bit smaller. I'm going to have that take up about half the screen as well. So you'll notice that I can't necessarily see everything I might want to see, but if I freeze my column, then I can score right over here so I can see the score, and it'll be pretty close to last name. I might even decide to hide some of these columns so that score and name will be even closer together. And at this point, all I really have to do is just copy and paste these numbers into this table right here. So what I'm going to do is just click Command-C for copy, Command V for paste. Command C for copy. Command V for paste. And as you get the hang of this, it has to go quite a bit faster. Oops. And so you can do a whole bunch of these pretty quickly. Eventually, you don't even have to leave your mouse in the right place. You just click very quickly. And then you press Command C as your mouse is moving back to the next location. So you can do a whole bunch of grades very quickly that way. Now once you're done with the grades, let's go ahead and submit those. Make that window a little bit smaller again. Now we'll do comments. So I'll click on a comment, copy, go over here, and paste. Now this is a little bit more complicated because every time you click submit, iPass takes over your entire window, your entire screen I should say, which is kind of a pain to be honest. So what I've kind of adapted into doing is using the command tab keyboard shortcut to switch quickly to my last used application. So I can switch, copy, switch, open up the window and paste. Close, switch, copy, switch, open, paste. So that's something that kind of takes a little while to get used to. But once you do it, you'll feel like you're going really fast because these windows are just flipping back and forth. But the end result is that you're able to enter a whole bunch of grades really, really quickly without doing any of the math yourself. You let the computer handle the math, you take care of the evaluation. So that's it. Hope this uh, tutorial has been helpful for you, and good luck in all your grading endeavors.